I couldn't rightly finish Torka Retrospective without mentioning one of dozens of mods made by obsessive compulsive weirdos who needs to go outside and touch women's behinds from behinds. While massive mod packs like Oblivion Loss and Misery transform existing Sturka games into something even more amazing, in my drunken stupor, I decided to subject myself to the horrors of Sturka Lost Alpha instead. Lost Alpha is like stepfather who wears your dead papa's old clothes and wants you to pretend that you fell out of his pee pee holes. Except he's of wrong color and keeps trying to infiltrate your shitter with his mentholated basketball spinning fingers. This fan game restores levels, vehicles and enemies cut from shadows of Chernobyl in a way that will immediately make you understand why they were cut in the first place. While Lost Alpha wants to be darker and edgier than shadows, it feels more like the deviant art version of Sturka. Thanks to President Trump's, this version of the zone has no job stealing Mexicans, leading to an extreme overgrowth of grass that nearly all players will immediately disable unless they enjoy not being able to see anything on the ground. I haven't been this neck deep in overgrown Russian bush since I found five kopecks and a half loaf of bread on the side of the road. Seriously, I spent half hour looking for this corpse with the grass enabled and found it in five seconds with grass disabled. At the max settings, Lost Alpha looks like modded oblivion without all those horrific Japanese sex mods that I had to hide from my parents and with a sky that resembles Guy Fieri's shirt after blowouts, leading some fans to postulate that this game takes place not in the zone, but in the center of Flavortown. For some reason, despite all the new areas and content in this glorified Puff Daddy remix of Shadows of Chernobyl, you're still playing as Strelak on his epic journey to kill himself. And frankly, after playing Lost Alpha, I can understand why he wants to take easy ways out. Last Alpo is at times the best looking and running game in the series. Save for when it decides to repeatedly crash as if Princess Diana's was in a car seat behind you. Though the mod maker doesn't seem to know how to custom animate faces and as a result certain NPCs are Muppet Mouth idiots whose heads flops around like Canadians from South Parks when they talks. If you truly wish to play this game, I wish you the best of lucks in brute forcing your way past the incredibly unbalanced mobs, finding important quest items, including this 100% needed key that's only clue is that it's in some place thin and passing a mission so unbelievably poorly designed that I recommend treating it like final boss so that you can beat it, then moves on to a better game when you're through. In order to save the life of some random NPC whom you've never met until just before this mission, you must infiltrate an army base where enemies spawn infinitely. If you kill them fast enough, you can actually see them spawning from thin air in front of you. At times, I was killed by a floating gun because the weapon spawned before the rest of the enemy's body and I never had a chance to shoot them. It also doesn't help that enemies remember what you did after loading a quick save, even if they didn't know you were there the first time around. While these labyrinthian tunnels that lead nowhere and fields devoid of points of interest expand the world's map like cancerous growths on disgusting elderly woman's teeth, social justice victims of repeated child molestations take note. At the very least, Lost Alpha improves the series' inclusivity by adding a single black midget to the game. Hello, Kevin's heart, and now goodbye. Overall, playing Sturka Lost Alpha is like assembling half of a 10,000 piece jigsaw puzzle and realizing you've spent hours of your life stitching together an incredibly detailed photograph of an elderly man's dangly balls swinging in a sultry summer breeze. Well, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, feel free to tweet about it. Subscribe, check out one of my novels, ebooks, and audiobooks using the links provided below, 
or toss a nickel at me on Patreon so you too can have a vote on which of these games I'll make my next Empty Heroes vs. video about. Until then, thanks for your time and goodbye!